Hello everybody and welcome back to Vinny Adventures. I'm Vinny and today we're venturing back into Xenoblade Chronicles 2 for the Nintendo Switch. In the last episode, we finished up Chapter 2 of the game by defeating Morog and her blade, Lady Bridget. And oh my gosh, can I just say that I was absolutely blown away by what happened. I thought truly that and i don't know i don't know why i resonated so much with that set of cutscenes but i thought that those cutscenes were better than the cutscenes that took place back on the ancient ship um with all you know with jin and with uh oh what is his name oh man the other guy i can't remember his name dang it but like when when pyra first you know, met Rex, or rather when Rex, Rex first met Pyra, you know, like, that was a really cool cutscene and everything, but I felt like certain moments were kind of a little weird, and some timing, timing was off, and, and had a, a couple of problems with it, like, pacing-wise that I didn't like, but this cutscene, the, the, this set of cutscenes, so good, and I really, really like Morag as a character, um, her voice actress is great, and I just really like her personality. I mean, you want to like her. You want to side with her because she truly thinks that what she's doing is right. And maybe, and this is the whole thing about this game so far, maybe she is right. Maybe there is a dark secret to Pyra that we don't know about. You know, she said Pyra destroyed three Titan continents 500 years ago in a war. Now, immediately I go, I believe that that's true, but I think that Pyra had a legitimate reason to do so. Maybe, I don't know, like, I don't know what's going on, but it's just, it's so crazy, and in such a Xenoblade fashion, I am left with even more questions than the answer, than, than the questions that were answered. Like, you, you get some of your questions answered, but then you have so many more questions that arise from that, and it's just, like, I could have taken a break from recording, and gone and, and, and done some other things um, that I need to get done, but I just cannot, like, I have to know what happens next in this game. I have to know where we are heading next, because I am just, at this, I think this is the point of the game when I am hooked, and I just, I feel it. I'm like, all right, I'm ready to play. This is awesome. Let's go. <laughs> Welcome home, Jin. Hey, Akos. I hear the Aegis awakened. Nasty shock for you? Or was it? Of course, my script showed how everything would play out from the start. Sure, you say that once it's all over and done with. It's easy to act smug when hindsight's on your side. Shut your mouth, Abrona. I'm shaking to my core. Where are the other two? Nikhil's inspecting the Ardanian factory. And my beloved sister is out hunting, as always. I'm sure she'll have found plenty of drivers to chew up and spit out by now. She likes to hunt, all right. Not sure we can use all of those core crystals, though. Do we know where the Aegis is right now? Have no fear, Jin. Of course we know her whereabouts. Abrona? Yeah, yeah! Hmm. It seems they're currently traveling away from the urban area of Gormont. Leaving the town? But there's nothing out that way. Perhaps they're on their way out of Gormont itself. Oh, and... What? It seems a certain... shipment has set out. The core crystals heading to Indol for cleansing, huh? How pious of them. Shall we handle them? I can deal with that myself. You concentrate on the Aegis. Understood. Well, I am looking forward to clapping eyes on the Aegis. By the way, what of Nia? You know where she is? Yes. Look, this dot here. 
Without a doubt, this is Dromark's wavelength. It seems they're traveling together with the Aegis. With the Aegis? Huh. Do as you see fit. Understood. You don't need to ask me twice. Right then. We're gonna take the Monoceros. Hmm. As you wish. Hey. Don't do anything too reckless. What is that? A Cloud Sea Compass. A must-have for salvagers. It's sort of a map of the Cloud Sea. If you do this, and this... What's the date today? Um... Amathitober 5th, 4058. Okay. So now we put the date in. See? Oh, this is very clever. Looks like Gormot. Is the closest country to the World Tree right now? All we need is a ship. The army has every ship in town in its grip. <sighs> We're kind of stuck. Seems that way. Sorry, I'm no use now. I know, I know. But I'm all out of ideas. Rex Rex needs ship? <gasps> Tora, I have good idea! You do? There is shipbuilder living at Gormok Titan's Bum Bum. Old friend of Tora's Grampy Pon, he called Umon. Maybe he help if we tell him what's what. Sure, it's worth a shot. Let's get going. Hey Tora, the place where this Umon guy lives isn't affected by the Cloud Sea Tides, is it? Hmm, why Rex Rex ask? Well, I noticed the Cloud Sea's been pretty low ever since we went off to save Nia. It's still low now, right? I was worrying that depending on the situation, we might be forced to find a different route. Rex has a point. The Cloud Sea tides can have a marked effect on the areas you are able to traverse. Sometimes the Cloud Sea may allow you to swim to places that were once out of reach, but equally it can submerge previously reachable areas, halting your progress. Exactly, so I was wondering whether we need to worry about any of that where we're going now. Oh, that makes sense. But it is no problem. Path to Shipyard of Uma, not affected by Cloud Sea at all. That's good to know. If it was summer we could only reach at high tide, we'd have to rest up somewhere until the clouds rise. That doesn't sound too bad to me. Frankly, I'd welcome a well-earned rest in an inn while we wait for the tides to change. No offense, Rex, but your helmet isn't always the most comfortable abode. Yes, yes, so you can always have a nice stretch and lie down next time we visit the inn at Toragoth. For now, though... We go to Shipyard of Uman. All right. Tutorials, our friends. <laughs> you now have the option to take long rests at lodging facilities. Oh, what does this do? This lets you rest until the tides of the Cloud Sea have shifted. Okay, I was wondering if there was going to be anything in the game that was going to allow us to control the tides, and here is my answer. So that is really cool. If you ever find your way is blocked due to a shifting tides of the Cloud Sea, then just go back and have a long rest, whether you're tired or not. Since the tides of the Cloud Sea change every time you have a long rest, it's wise to check the Cloud Sea's status in the environmental information display first. Oh, and you should bear in mind that it's not possible to take a long rest at every single lodging facility in all rest. But you certainly can in the one in Torgoth, which is just as well because Torgoth is quite sensitive to the comings and goings of the Cloud Sea. Nakuya Woods is where we're at. Okay. So, guys, I don't want to toot my own horn here, but you might remember way back in, like, I think it was episode 3, I mentioned that my end screen, I built it in a way where I, in my mind, put all of, like, the enemies on one side of the screen, and then, like, Pyra and Rex in the middle, and then, like, the, who I thought were good party members or whatever off to the other side, and, like, I, I mean, look, Look, I'm just- I'm not saying I'm right. We don't know how these characters are gonna end up by the end of the story. They could seem bad now and then appear to be, you know, foes at the e or not foes, but friends at the end. We don't know. But as of right now, so far, every single one of those characters that I put over there on the right-hand side of the screen has been an enemy. That is all I have to say about that. I have really good intuition about what bad guys are supposed to look like, apparently. 
I don't know, but for now, I guess we... Oh my gosh, 923 yards away! What the heck? Where am I supposed to be going? And once again, I have hit the minus button to find the skip travel. That is not what I want. I want this. So are we on the upper right? Is that where we're supposed to... Oh yeah, so we're like here. So where the heck am I supposed to be going? Man, I don't know. Um, I do kind of want to go back to the inn though really quick anyway, because I want to level Nia up to be roughly level with where Rex and um, Tora are. So I'll meet you guys back there once I've done that. Okay guys, so I went ahead and rested up at the inn. Uh, Rex and Tora were both level 14 and Nia was level 12, so I went ahead and I raised them all up to level 15 because I feel like level 15 is probably, like, it just feels like a good level to be leaving this, like, second chapter of the game. I don't know, but as soon as I took my short rest, I didn't even take a long rest at the end, I took a short rest and this happened. Pyra says, hey guys, why don't we go and check out the Forgotten Waste? Sounds great. Why exactly? I mean, I don't know if there's just anything there. I don't know if there's anything there exactly. Let's just go and see what it's like. What, you don't want to go? Pyra, you're acting a little suspicious. I don't know if I would be acting suspicious right now, considering, you know, the uh, rumors that are going around about you right now, but we're going to give her the benefit of the doubt, and I guess we are going to make our way over there, and I kind of, like, before I leave town, I'm going to check all these shops and such again, because I really want to see if there's, like, anything that's unlocked since I, I did Chapter 2, like, in the way of buying stuff at the shops. Okay guys, so I went around the town and stuff and just kind of checked some stuff out, some shops. I bought a couple of weapons for some of our blades that we have equipped but we haven't really been using much. And honestly, I think I'm just kind of mostly ready to go. So I'm going to meet you guys back over to like, I don't know, the nearest skip travel point that I can find to that marker. Okay, so we're back over here. This is where we set up camp, and I guess I just want to kind of follow the marker now. I have no idea where this is going to take us. I don't know if it's even the right, like, cloud sea level for this. I have no clue, so I'm probably just going to be running in this direction for a really, really long time until I see something. Oh, I see something. What is that? A level 14 nose gogol. Well, I mean, it's not really causing us trouble, but, I mean, why don't we have a battle? Alright, so we took care of those. A level 17 Nose Gogol actually came up and tried to defend his level 15 brethren, but failed. Or level 14. I Was it level 14? I think it was level 14, yeah. But anyway, that was pretty cool. I did a, a level 4, um fire special there like I think I'm getting better at kind of this whole system I still don't know what each individual each individual stage does in all cases but uh oh wait am I supposed to go this way oh I wonder if I go wait do I go down I you know what the xenoblade one explorer in me is wanting to do this guys so what do you say Geronimo Oh, we found a landmark! Varnax's Plunge! Oh, that- I guess they intend you to do this! That's pretty cool. Uh-oh. I'm kind of already immediately seeing a problem here, though. I'm supposed to be going off in this- Oh, wait, are we going into a cave? Wait, is that a cave? I don't know, I can't- Is there a crack in the wall over there or no? Oh no, I don't think there is. Uh-oh. There's a collection point, but there is no cave! Am I maybe not- Like, how am I supposed to know what level exactly- the Cloud Sea is- ooh, and there's level 34 enemies here. I need to, like, be really careful. I need to be really careful. Am I supposed to be up there? I think I'm probably- I don't know. Where am I right now on the map? So, I'm, like, all the way up here, and it looks like I might be able to go through the water around the right. Maybe? Is there- does it look like there's a- oh, yeah, maybe. Okay, so let's try going all the way around this way instead, off to the right. Nope, that does not appear to be what we are supposed to do. And there are level, like, almost 40 enemies over here, and I really don't want to get into a fight with one of them, although I do kind of want to come over here and steal this collection point really quick. Don't see me. 
Ooh, we're gonna get free fish. Our fish doubled from this. See? So we actually got an extra four items from that node. That collection point, rather. And, oh man, where am I supposed to be? So I am intended to head that way. I see all of that up there. Am I supposed to be up there on the... Cl oh, oh, maybe I'm supposed to climb to the top of that mountain somehow? I have no idea. But I feel vastly underleveled for this area, and I'm kind of wondering if I'm meant to be here, or if I'm going the wrong way, or... I don't know what's going on. Uh-oh. Oh no. Oh no. Level 34 enemy incoming. Watch out. Oh, it's a- it's a- oh, it's patrolling. Oh no. Just don't see me. Okay, can I- can I- can I- oh, can I get up? Can I- oh, it's gonna run back the other way, isn't it? Okay, well maybe we can beat it. Come on! Run fast, guys! Just run fast! Oh! Okay, that's Poppy. I thought that was the bird running- ooh! Ooh, there's a lot of really high-level Turk in here! Oh no. Oh, this is very frightening. Where am I meant to be? I feel like I- oh my god! Oh my god! A level 91 ancient sorrow- oh no. Oh no no no, you st oh bad dino- oh 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 no 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 no, bad dinosaur. Just- just leave me- oh no! You stay there! You stay there! Oh, okay, um- oh, ooh, it moved. Oh, I'm terrified of that. That thing will absolutely destroy me in one hit if I get anywhere near it. Okay, well he didn't see us. Oh! Oh man, guys, where- What? What is all of this? Where am I supposed to be right now? I don't understand. Am I supposed to like- I don't know, am I supposed to come here during high tide, perhaps? And like, all of these monsters would be washed away or something? What? What do I do? Okay, level 9. Okay, I can handle level 9s. Level 9s do not stress me out. And Guys, I don't think I've found any unique monsters yet in this entire game. Like, this entire game, I don't think I have. I just want to, like, find where I'm supposed to be going game. Game, where am I, where am I meant to be going here? Am I supposed to, like, go back to the the lower Gourmet area? And Because I think I'm in the higher area. And, like, seriously, though, where are all of... The unique monsters. How do you know if a, if a monster is unique or not? Because I don't feel like I've seen any, and I feel like I would have seen something already and known that it was a unique monster. Like, I, I just, I don't know. No special battle music has played or anything. This place is gorgeous, though. Can we talk about that? Can we talk? Oh, ooh. Can we talk about this, though? This beautiful red and silver treasure trove on top of here with a ton of gold in it and an eye patch. Are we pirates now? Are, does that make us official pirates? A few moments later. Well, guys, I hit something on the map that said, like, main objective or current active quest or something like that. And it teleported me here. But I was on the lower, like, the, uh, what is it called? The lower level of Gourmet when I clicked it. So I think it just put me the closest that it could to said objective, but this doesn't, this really doesn't feel right. Like, this really does not, like, absolutely does not feel like it is where I meant to be going. So, like, here, like, if I, if I hit R a couple times, like, look, up there at the top, so, oh, there we go, current objective, quest start. So, current objective, this is what I hit, so I hit A, on, oh, it just literally, I see, it's not doing anything with that, oh, so wait, Am I able to- oh, filter off! Oh, I understand. Okay, never mind. So that does literally not at all what I thought it did. But seriously, where- I don't know, it put us at Traveler's Resting Tree, right? This is where the fire pit was and everything, but yeah. So it obviously wants me to start out here. So maybe I just went the wrong way around. Maybe I'm intended- to go like up there maybe I don't know I'm just gonna keep running around until I find something that looks right oh boy guys look it's the immovable Gonzalez this was actually a monster in Xenoblade Chronicles 1 and boy is he glorious but I have a feeling that is not the way I meant to go so for now that is blocked okay guys this looks kind of promising we're still really far away but this looks like it goes all the way through, so I think I'm going to keep following this path all the way down. Okay, so I think, I think, guys, I need to actually head up this path. I could keep going down there, but I think we go over here, because this looks like this torch is here to kind of give us a hint that we are meant to be going this way. 
and there are enemies more appropriate to our level along this path, which kind of makes me feel like the game is going, yeah, okay, genius, you're going the correct way now, so, I don't know, plus, like, this goes all the way around, and then on that branch, and yeah, this just, this seems right, this feels right. Hopefully it is right. Okay, guys, I'm heading over here, and I see a level 18, I'm gonna assume Rogul, yep, Ligar Rogul. These things were chasing us around a couple of episodes ago, so I think I'm actually probably able to... Ooh, what is this? Airflow? Ooh, is this... Is this... Oh, wait, no, 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 bad, bad Rex, bad Rex. I said no. I said no, thank you. Uh, check the airflow. Poppy, leaping, wind mastery failed. Wait! How do I get Wind Mastery? Oh no, alright, let me see... Let me go into her, like, affinity stuff and, and check out what Wind Mastery is. Guys, I'm not quite sure, but I think I need to change Poppy's element to Wind in order to use this, and I cannot imagine... I mean, I could be wrong, but I can't imagine that I would actually need... Oh, but you know what? That looks like... Does that look like that's where we're supposed to be? Is up there? Oh, that would really suck if I had to, like... Oh, so do I need to go level Poppy up a little bit? Oh, I'd be very upset if that were the case. Hmm, actually, guys, I think I was wrong. I don't think I need to go up there at all. I think I do need to actually go to the end of this uh, ravine or whatever it is, because, look, our marker is over here, actually, in this building. So is this how we're going to get... Oh, my gosh. Is that the head of the Titan, or is that... The... Oh, that's the tail, right? Oh man, that is really cool. I was just like speechless for a second. That, I think that's the tail, but I'm not sure. It's kind of hard to really get a look at what this thing actually is. I think it's supposed to be like a ram or a goat, but anyway, it looks like we're here. Uman Shipyard. Oh yeah, that's right. We're trying to find a ship. I guess this all makes sense now. Um, I do see this collection point, though. I want to grab it really quickly. All right, I got my fat loots, and I am ready to head on in, or wherever we're supposed to be. Uh, excuse me, hello, anybody home? Oh, there's a chest over here that I will gladly take. Um, ooh, ooh, a core crystal, nice. I always love getting core crystals. I actually got a couple of them on the way over from fighting enemies. And look, a salvage point. I heard you get better loot at different salvage points, so I'll have to try different salvage points for better loot later. Um, oh, we go in here, all right. Hello? Umon! Umon! Where is Umon? Who is that? Who is noisy while I do my work? Tora! This big surprise! Long time no see, Uncle Pon! Yes, long time! About one whole year? Yes, about that! You became very big in one year, Tora! Yes, Tora not little Pon anymore! And Tora have lots of sidekicks! Rex Rex and friends are not Tora's sidekicks. They are real friends, Umon. Rex Rex, meet Uncle Pon Umon. He did great research with Grampy Pon. He is great builder of ships. Hello. Greetings. At your service. I see. Tora's friends. Tora has lots of friends. Very good. Tora has become fine, Biggie Pon. <laughs> well, Tora, did you need Uman's help for something? Well, we wanted to borrow a ship from Uncle Pon Uman. A ship? But there are lots of ships in Toragoth. Why hike all the way to Bum Bum to see me? Oh, um. <laughs> Tora run out of gold, hmm? Uh, yes. Tora spend all the gold on artificial blade. Tora flat broke, like penniless pancake. <laughs> I wanted to go on a little boaty jaunt to a uh, nearby place, but no money to go on boat. Hmm. I hope Tora can keep track of all these fibs he's telling. There's no other option. We can hardly tell him what happened in Toragoth, can we? Yeah, I guess you're right. So long as we get a boat out of this. 
Artificial blade, eh? Was this what Tora's Grampy Pon was working on? My name is Poppy. Pleased to meet Uncle Pon. Yes! This it! This pretty mighty! Tora take off the Grampy Pon indeed! Oh, well, uh, how can I refuse Tora now? Tora may use Uman's ship, but there is problem. W what is problem? You see, a ship not quite ready just yet. Not much left to do, but work stop because no building parts. That's the only problem. Correct! But that is big problem. Big like sea or mountain. You mean, all you need is some parts, then you can finish the ship? It just as you say, friend. So if we go and find the parts, then you'll... Of course! I make ship ready, then you borrow! Thank you! Come on, everyone. Let's go! Let's go find ship ingredients! Okay, so it looks like we are finding ship ingredients. Oh man, just the thing I've always wanted to do. So wait a minute, how do we know? He didn't even tell us what ingredients we needed and we somehow just magically kind of... And Oh, this collection point is back already. Um, so I'm going to assume that these are not just ingredients that I can pick up normally. So let's take a look at our skip travel map and see exactly where we are meant to be going. Oh, so, um, no, 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 like, like, there? Lida Oasis? Yeah, because I can't skip travel anywhere else, right? All three or all of our parts are there? There's no other parts anywhere else? Okay, guys, so I came back here to, like, the right upper part or whatever, and I kind of managed to climb up a big tree root, and now I'm climbing a bunch of vines, and all this climbing, like, I think I'm going the right way. I haven't actually read the quest text yet, and it's not going to let me do it while I'm climbing, apparently. I I guess that makes sense, but, uh, what, exact, what exactly am I meant to be looking for here? Does it tell me? Oh, I need ten puzzle, wood, uh, pu puzzle tree wood, which I have, but I also need... Five diamond oak. Head to Donview Grotto in Gormont Province and get your hands on some diamond oak. Okay, so I imagine this is a rare item or, or only found in a certain place since I don't have any yet. And oh man, there's gonna be Turkin in the way. Alright, it's a good thing I leveled up to 15. Alright, so I took care of those Turkin and now I see a cave that I can go through. This is all very long way to, uh, oh yeah, but look, it looks like we are actually, oh yeah, there they are. Oh, this looks too easy. Oh, it's a secret area! Oh, that is really cool! So just like in the first game, we discovered a secret area. I don't know if we actually got experience for finding that. I imagine we did, but it's probably bonus experience, so that's really cool. And all five of the items are here, plus a collection point, and we also now have probably another, like, teleport fast travel point, so that's really cool. Yeah, I'm gonna take all of this diamond oak, and then I guess I'm gonna head back to Grampy Pond. Oh, guys, wait, before I do that, hold on a minute. Look, over here we have a golden and white treasure trove. I want to just say, I had two of these drop when I salvaged all of that salvaging that I did, and I had about two, maybe three of these drop, and they typically have guaranteed legendary quality items in them. So, or legendary or rare, I don't I don't really know what the legend, uh, what the, the rarities are called, but this should have really good loot in it, so let's see what's inside. Oh, nice! We got a rare core crystal, and wow, that is a lot. Oh my gosh, we got like 3,400 gold from those two lumps of, of of gold coins. That was really cool. So anyway, I guess now I will meet you back at Grampy Pond. All right, Grampy Pond, we're here. Here you go. Meh, meh, friends really brought all materials requested. This indeed is puzzle tree wood and diamond oak. Very impressive. This should be enough to make strong boat frame. Okay, 
but too soon for celebration. Oh no, he's gonna tell me we need more, isn't he? Please don't get angry. Maybe we have all bits we need, but Titan escaped. What? Wait, seriously? Are you gonna tell me we need to capture a Titan? Toro, want more info? Umon unfortunately forget to feed poor Titan, so Titan swan off. Swan off? Swan off? <laughs> With rumbly tummy. So friends must go and find Titan. So we have to find a Titan. Naughty Titan was heading for Marasa Spring in Gormot. Surely you find it there. That makes sense. Once you find Titan, feed it the green pollen orbs I provide you. That forms contact between you and Titan. As long as you get pollen orbs, it will gladly serve as your boat. Of course, if you run out of green pollen orbs like before, that is far as you go. But this is traditional Nopon taming method, not like rough taming methods used by more ordain. That pretty neat. Did she say that pretty neat? That's pretty neat. Me, I don't know. Eh, ah, friends now privy to very secret trick of Titan trade. Huh? Anyway, go to Masra Spring. Naturally, Titans not show up except when Cloud Sea is high, so be aware. I'll do what I can. Alright, so we got three pollen orbs, but this sounds like it's going to be a pain in the butt. And even though I've done a lot of running around off camera, I do think that this episode has dragged on just a little bit on the long side. So I think that I am going to go ahead and end the episode off there. If you guys enjoyed this episode, remember to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already to stay updated. And I will see you guys next time for more Xenoblade Chronicles 2. See you later!